Hi everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today. So as you can see on my screen, today I'm going to discuss regarding AWS CodeStar, another developer tool module from AWS, which basically help us or enable us to quickly develop, build and deploy our application within AWS within few minutes. So this is one of a good tool to work upon. And it's not a question like who will gonna use this tool. Any newbie can use this tool, or any like uh, starting company, like a startup can use this particular module to build their application, deploy their application within AWS within few minutes, right? Because we, we do get a certain number of templates. So it's a good start for any individual to work with AWS CodeStar. So, it's basically a collection of different existing AWS services. So the services that AWS CodeStar comes within are your code commit, code build, code deploy, code pipeline, cloud formations as well. So code commit is just like your GitHub. It's a Git repo or a GitLab repo within AWS. Code build, is just like your Jenkins uh, or any other build tool as well that takes your code and build that particular code. Code deploy where it deploys your code into your EC2 instance or Elastic Beanstalk. And code pipeline, another module comes into picture within this particular service which combines like a glue, it's code pipeline. So it's basically a process from development to deploy like commit your code like build your code commit your code deploy the code and your application is ready so um, i have jotted down few points uh, regarding aws code star so first of all we're gonna review few of the theoretical part and then i'll gonna perform a practical demo so aws code star enable you to quickly develop build deploy application on aws it provides a unified user interface, enabling you to easily manage your software development activities in one place. So the dashboard that CodeStar or Amazon has built for CodeStar is very flawless. So one place where you can choose what kind of services that you have built. One, you, have, you just have to click like code commit, uh, what kind of code you are going to commit. You can see all those things. With CodeStar, you can set up your entire continuous delivery tool chain in a minute, allowing you to start releasing the code faster. So this is basically a CD process, right? Uh, continuous delivery tool chain, you can like configure that particular within a minute, as I said. It's make it easy for you and your whole team as well to work together. So you build your team, you work with your team all together to develop, build, commit, and deploy your application, allowing easily to manage access and add owners, contributors, and viewers for your project, right? So that's how AWS CodeStar is very helpful, right? So you can think like you can create, manage, work with your software development projects within AWS, deploy your application within minutes. This service help us with a various uh, DevOps operation where we Again, develop, build, deploy application on AWS within few minutes. What are the benefits that we are getting with CodeStar? That you can start developing your application within AWS, manage the software delivery at one place, the dashboard of CodeStar, I'm gonna show you that. Then you can work, work across your team as well within a secure manner. Choose the variety of projects template that has been provided by AWS. So I'll just gonna show you what kind of uh, support, the language support, the template that AWS provides with AWS CodeStar. Before going into that particular demo side, just wanted to show you this project working with AWS CodeStar. So this is a place where we have source repo, build the environment, deployment and hosting resources and the programming language. The templates even include sample resource code. So you can start working with your project right away. So there are like two things. Use your sample project code 
deploy your application modify the code as per your requirement so for me i, I belong to i started my career from the infrastructure side so obviously uh, doing a hard code it's quite tough for me to understand right i do understand the coding but i won't be able to write a proper application i can take care of designing solutions for an application on infrastructure side on network side on devops as well but if you ask me to write a code uh, to build an application from scratch like a complex application i won't be able to do that and that's that's the reality for me so for me code star with a sample project yes i can deploy my own website and i can modify as per my requirement so here is a small diagram for code star so we have a code star administrator with full access that will going to create a projects and add user so it he will going to build the team then all the team will going to work at one place and they will going to commit the changes changes are getting built from that point of view with the help of code build then we have a deployment uh, code is deployed then we have we can have monitoring of application and infrastructure ideas of request bugs then customer can like raise a request these are the bugs that we have to fix it then that can be raised as well developers best practices team decision can be made over here and changes can be done and update of the fix can be done by our team members so that's how the architectural flow happens for aws code star so i hope this clears a lot in terms of why to use code star and what is the benefit of using it so i'll quickly jump to my aws management console just to show you a sample demo uh, for this particular code star how it works and what are the functionality it provides at one place so this is my aws management console i'll quickly go to services and we have something called aws developer tool and inside that we have code star and again code commit build deploy code pipeline all these are attached to code star code star is not a single functionality module but it combines all these four modules to build your application so let's hit code star okay so aws code star uh, lets you to quickly develop build deploy application on aws so let's go ahead and click on start a project now here you can see what are the different type of templates that we have we have go language we have node js you can build your application on node js with lambda running serverless again we have that option we have python express js java spring html so there are like different type of uh, support that we have php and again uh, you can go with aws lambda like running serverless application people are preferring to use uh, lambda to run your application but if you are rigid enough to go with your uh, server side then you can use node js as a web application on amazon ec2 instance as well we have java spring uh, support as well to run your web application with uh, elastic beanstalk so again there are like different type of uh, services different type of templates different type of uh, languages that we have we have asp.net as well so these are the things that we can go with again let's say uh, out of the application category uh, we have to select one of it right web application web service alexa static or config role let's go with static website so static website obviously html is one of a famous uh, uh, platform to go with a static website right programming languages you can select either of it and what are the services like on which platform you want to go with as of now there are like three services that you can go with elastic beanstalk which is self managed services by aws you just have to do few configuration and you don't have to worry about your uh, server maintenance and all those thing amazon ec2 or aws lambda so i'll go with amazon ec2 as a platform click html now here you have to give your project name let's say test you can so every project name is associated with a project id so whatever name you are giving either you can edit this project id or you can keep the same project id as a name for your project name right now 
which repo do you want to use you can use your own github account you just have to click and connect to a github or you can use aws code commit so aws code commit is a version control for aws just act like your github or gitlab or any other version control okay repo name i am using same click next now aws code start as i said will gonna perform it's a collection of services and will gonna perform certain sets in background which we don't have again control on that initially so aws code start include all the tools and services you need to be a part of development project the project includes code pipeline as well connected to the following tools now we have a source then build build will be done by a tool called code build we, we are going to test and deploy with the help of code deploy and monitoring will be done by amazon cloudwatch and again the pricing model will be so code star is uh, free as a model module sorry so but the services that it will gonna use we have to give charge for that for example uh, what i remember with code pipeline i guess it's uh, one dollar or something i don't remember exactly what the charge but i'll gonna show you the pricing as well now aws code star would like to have a permission to administer your aws resources on your behalf so you can either select this or you just can ignore this that if you don't want aws to manage this but i would i would gonna recommend initially if you are doing kind of a poc understand code by uh, sorry uh, understand aws code star first and then if you're confident enough to do all the configuration then please go ahead to do that okay let's go ahead and create a project now uh, since we are going to use amazon ec2 so we have to select ec2 key pair for that let's go ahead and select windows i acknowledge and create a project okay i am user is uh, my user so because i have an admin permission it looks like that you are the first time presenting over here so set up your code star user setting so display name i'll gonna keep it same and email id i'll gonna use my email id okay click next now pick how you want to edit your code so you can edit your code using cloud9 which is like aws cloud based ide or a command line tool eclipse is another famous tool for uh, these kind of uh, editing we can use visual studio as well so depend upon you uh, which you want to go with so i'll go with uh, cloud9 because if i go with cloud9 i have to pay for that so still i don't have any tool as of now with me but i can go with command line tool as well edit your code star uh, project by connecting directly to your git resource repo and this will be your code commit uh, clone repository url that you're gonna need it so let's i'll go with command line okay for that i have to see the instruction and copy the details so i'm gonna copy this first and let's skip this step because i don't want uh, any id as of now to edit the settings so let's skip for that now this will gonna take time because uh, it's going to set up my project from scratch and for that we have to wait so you can see like we'll be getting cloud nine environment application endpoints continuous deployment so once this is commit history at last in jira extension if you want to uh, associate this with jira then you can do that as well so let's wait for this uh, project to get completed and i'll gonna show you once this is done so i'll gonna pause this video and once this is done i'll resume it back okay so the project has been created successfully and if we go down we can see like source commit has been done successfully then we have a build succeeded and deployment has been done as well successfully now uh, since we have selected ec2 let's check our ec2 instance this is a test web app that has been deployed this is amazon linux 
okay so this is amazon linux it's created within this subnet awesome let's go back to code star now application endpoint this is the application endpoint which is on http so we haven't done any kind of uh, rule change over there so that's sample application that we have deployed nothing apart from that now commit history you can see uh, if you go to the commit detail let's click on commit history over here so this will open up our another developer tool which is code commit where we can see the commit id which is initial commit done by aws let's go inside this okay so inside this this will give you a readme file deployed by aws code deploy and cloud formation to an amazon ec2 instance you can see all the detail that hit has been deployed with okay now if you go to the code section on the left hand side this will gonna give you the code that it deployed so that's a basic html static website you can see all the yaml file web pages inside this we have css image js index.html file you can see the code as well you can edit the code create a pull request you can do all the things that you want to play with in a normal situation you do play with your uh, jenkins build or maven build and deploy the code right everything can be handled at one place that's how good is aws code start is all about okay so you can see even if you click over here this will going to move us to our code commit page or code commit console now if you hit the pipeline this will gonna give you the code pipeline again uh, here you can see the pipeline you can uh, like create your own sequence as well so for example we have a source which is committed okay now we have a build done deploy execute the chain set deploy so let's say if you want to edit this as per your requirement you can stage the add so uh, let's say uh, after build add a stage something called send an email kind of thing and you can like send out a notification once build is done or you can add a stage where you want to do the approval before deploy you can use that as well so everything can be done at one place okay so, uh, let's hit the endpoint let's see if it has deployed properly or not here we go that's the sample application from aws congratulations you have just created an html5 web application that's a cool website right let's go about this will gonna give you all aws the link has been transferred to aws that's in hyperlink basically let's go back even if you click on contact it will gonna redirect us to aws so everything can be like edited as per your requirement okay so that's it guys for this particular video i would suggest to go ahead and try with this aws code star environment and see what kind of uh, expectation that you can set with code star this is one of a good tool and Amazon has modified this tool a lot better than what it was deployed long back, right? So I, I, I would uh, probably going to use CodeStar more frequently for creating my applications and I'll going to suggest my clients as well. I have suggested a few of my clients as well to use CodeStar and they have used it and it's working perfectly fine for them and they're happy uh, for implementing CodeStar. So just go ahead and uh, play with this particular module. If you're facing any issue, just place out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you. And please remember, if you're doing a POC kind of thing, if you're done with the POC, delete it because this will gonna charge for uh, you whatever the module you will gonna use in future. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.